Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the World Conquest. And from our last episode, we ended up taking out the Kuzite. So they are gone. After that episode, uh, I stated that I needed to get a couple things done. One was my army. I only had about 500 troops. So I needed to come back here and I needed to grab troops. The other thing I needed to do desperately was grab food. Food variety is very, very important uh, for multiple reasons, especially because of morale. So I came back, I grabbed a whole ton of food. I thought it might only take 20 days. Oh, it took me a bit longer. I looked at the last episode compared to this one, and it took me 38 days. So we are on day seven. 27. But now I am all set up and ready to go. What I am thinking of doing is we're going to go after the Northern Empire. The reason is, is because the Northern Empire is already at war with Sturgia. So they're going to be fighting wars on two fronts, and they're mainly concentrated in here. So if I run over to here and start taking these out and pushing them over here, it's going to be a lot easier because they're going to be closer to my major towns that have all my troops. So also the reason is because we currently have a bunch of Kuzite lords, as you can see. These guys are all independent. That's because we defeated Kuzite in exactly 30 days. Some will join other kingdoms and some will leave the game. I cannot recruit them now because they're independent. But I want to declare war on the Northern Empire because I haven't tested when they become part of another kingdom. I would assume they are released automatically because of a peace treaty. You're not at war. But if we are at war, do I keep them prisoner and they can't join the Northern Empire? So I want to declare war on the Northern Empire before that 30 days is up which is really soon from now, and I'm a little worried about being able to make Imprella or Mysia before that happens. Because as I said, we went through like 38 days. Uh, I think it's any moment now it's going to happen. So I am a little bit worried about it. I thought about actually go, trying to go to Epicrotia and uh, go after their army, because that's what I like doing is what I call a betrayal. When I first start, I go after an army, and then that will allow me to be able to take them prisoner. Just boom, declare war. I'm, our, I'm peaceful with Sturgis, so I can actually attack them. And that's what I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and do. I have two people on the way, which will put me up to 1,100 troops. Uh, we're going to go hit Epicrotia. Just because... I really want to take out whatever army they have. Hopefully, they do not take Epicrotia before I get there. And like I said, any time now, it's going to happen. And they're going to be added to, you know, these other kingdoms. All these prisoners I have. So I don't want to take too long to get this done. Which is what... Oh, geez, there it went. I was too late. It just happened. Hmm. Look at that. Some are still independent. All these people, uh, maybe they haven't been assigned yet. Now I'm waiting. Man, I still got one more person that hasn't gotten to me yet. There's they're being eliminated right now. Oh, I'm just like two days too late. That's it. So I'm going to have to check. Uh, they're sieging. Good. Don't let them succeed. How's the siege going? They haven't even started sieging yet. Now they are. Beautiful. Oh, we're going to absolutely wreck them. I use the word. Oh, this is going to be so good. Because... That I could sit here and let the defenders take these guys down. How many lords do we have? How many delicious lords? Two, four, six, eight, ten lords. And watch this. They're just going down and down and down. 
and I don't want their army to come up. I want to take them. And look, it's still got 200 defenders. Just keep letting them go. Watch for an army, though. I want all these people myself. They're already under 800. How many cav they got? They only got, they got 150 cav, but just let them go. Once it gets down to under 100, that's when you want to be concerned. And it's at 162, 150, 140, 130. Now we'll go in and take them out. All right, so here comes their cav. No, these are their horse archers. Trying to get my guys in position. Oh, and I forgot the axe. I did actually get my heartbreaker at. Gotta watch out for some, some of these arrows and stuff. My act. Jeez. Of course you blocked me. He's dead. Wow, he blocked me again. Damn. Trying to get him. It's like, I can't get him. Trying to. Uh, except I'm getting my butt kicked. And I already went down. Boy, they love prioritizing you, don't they? Uh, I have a new RTS on. It's really, really annoying. I missed my old one, but I needed the new one for the sieges. And he changed it around. And it sucks really bad. So, that, that kind of stinks. I got kind of caught up into it. And there they are. They're finally done. But wow, 250 deaths. Yikes. That's where I think I have presence right now. So I can get these troops for free. All right. Prisoner. You're all prisoner. And now I actually, I only can take five, but I need to take them all. Because I do need to take more prisoners. Yeah, look at all the people that are gone. I didn't declare war. I got the forest people. That is because I bet you they joined up. Oh, they, it's not, it shows the. I don't know why they're not gone. But now what I should be looking at doing is I should be looking at taking Empire troops. This is why I haven't messed with. The presence perk just yet because now I can get all these imperial troops for free. And that is what I am going to do. I'm going to get all these imperials. Won't cost me anything. There we go. All right. So now I got imperial. Another good barding. Nothing else. Yeah, I got my axe. That is part of the mod from Hero, so I don't have to smith. And look at all their troops that they got down. But now I need to take all their prisoners. because Now, I'm not going to go through and take all the low-class ones, but I need to take the lords. And I do need to give some troops out. I have way too many troops. So I am going to have to give up some of them. See, I still got 14 too many. But these guys are going to have prisoners. And you don't actually need many. You Look at, she's got a lot of wounded. Who is that? She's a... That's probably because she's a, has pretty high... Yeah, 100, well, 128 Madison. She's pregnant on the battlefield. You don't have any. You have one. And you actually don't have troops. Now 
That's because she's newer. She doesn't have the Madison. And that's it. So now I have all, well, it says only eight lords. Um, That's everybody, I guess. I guess the other two got away. Now we're officially at war. Now what I can do is I can run over. And as much as I, I mean, I could start from this direction and push them that way. Um, I, I mean, I guess because I'm here and it's a world conquest, I can do that. I can leave these two fiefs that are behind my lines. I can leave them to the Sturgeons because Sturgia is sieging that. So why don't we just go ahead and do that? We'll go ahead over and start taking the castles from them. That is a really good idea. So we'll go take this castle first. Why is it saving? Is it really that much time being spent? I thought I had autosave on 15 minutes. But I guess not. And I also wanted to mention, uh, I don't know if people noticed a couple things in the previous videos. That when my voice got really low, that it would cut out. And also you could hear little clicks. That would be my mouse. So I hope I have it adjusted right in my settings to where my voice is not cutting out when I'm talking. But the clicks, I have a new mouse. Well, I'm ordering a new mouse. So you don't hear that because this one kind of clicks a little bit loud. That's what happens when you try to order a mouse and it's different from what you had. And you don't know if it makes a lot of noise. So if you hear the clicks, it's the mouse. I have a new one ordered. Hopefully it won't be making that much noise as this one does, but yeah, that's the clicks. All right, so they have 374. Question is, is can we get one siege engine built? Or can they only build one? They must not have a high build from the looks of it. Their siege workshop is terrible. I'm almost going to get done before they do. We're going to go right away. Uh, a 346, this is probably going to be an, I would assume, an RTS battle. I'm going to make it. They only have 346. So it's not going to be tough at all. My guys are going to go up there, so it's probably going to be an RTS. And there we have it. Yeah, it was a seven-minute battle, uh, but it was kind of lopsided. Which is really why I didn't include it. It really was lopsided. Bad. So that's why I didn't include that battle. It was just... To me, it wasn't worth it for you guys. Oh, nothing great. Alright, that one is taken care of. Show mercy. I made sure none of the guys have mercy. They're not negative mercy people. So, that way... I don't lose relation when I show mercy. I had somebody question that. Why are you, what, uh, what is negative mercy doing? When you pillage or destruct, everybody with negative mercy will like you and those with positive mercy, you'll lose relation. That's why I only have positive mercy people with me. All right, manage the castle. They're doing a barracks. We don't care about that. Granary. <sighs> No gardens. They do have a siege workshop. We're going to cancel this out right now. We're going to go right to train militia. Uh, dungeon. Tons of prisoners. But I already have prisoners. I already have tons. So I'm actually happy with what I have. I am not going to swap it out. Uh, I will need to redo troops though. So I just need to give away a few of my troops. I'm looking who's low. Are you numb? Yeah, 46. Yikes. Yeah, you're low. You're only up to 53. But I need to keep the bulk of the fighting force. Now. Um. Now this is it. Once again, it's got 64 defenders, so that's good. 
I didn't take troops, but we should be able to leave it alone. And I, I don't think they're going to get it. If we have to come back, we'll defend it, but let's go right to diathema and we're going to try to push as fast as we can. Should I, or should I be going? No, they're down there. I was like, should I go down here and then push north? This is why I wanted to push this direction. It's what I wanted to do. Oh, they are going offensive. I didn't think about that. Do I have it? I have it set to defensive. I, I think I'm going to go offensive. I'm going to definitely set them offensive. All right. I think they're going to probably, I don't, it needs to get up to about 100 troops. Once it gets up to about 100 troops, it's pretty much safe from single party attack. We are going to try to take this. Who's going to get this? Pro I probably will be in there. Oh, I'm actually not. Um, you are Kuzite. You are Kuzite. Now, I guess I'm going to give it to him. It's Kuzite, but there's not much I can do about it. It's and it's only a, a it's not a town. A town's going to be different because it's going to have a lot less. You know, it's more important to have a town done because you, you want to have that higher relation. And your loyalty is going to drop so much. Now, this is probably going to be a full blown out fight. I think it's 100% going to be a fight because they already have one up and they're going to get at least another one up. So, yeah, this is going to be a full battle. Yeah, they're building pretty quick. So we're going to have to destroy their siege equipment. We're not going to go immediately. Even think with two. Mm, yeah, they got it. three of them. No, no way. Not a chance. We would lose way too many troops. So we're going to have to spend the extra time. And this is where I had somebody ask why I don't just starve them out. Look how long this is taking. Even at six days, that's six days until they run out of food. Um, that's six days until they run out of food. Then it's probably another three, four days until they actually all starve. So you're looking at potentially 10 to 15 days to starve them out. And in a normal game, it's not a huge deal. But in a world conquest, that's a little bit different. And we we got to them first. It looks like they are. They are honestly coming after us? Wow. Okay, then. I mean, I ain't got no problem with that. They're going to get absolutely pounded by arrows right now. So, um, that doesn't actually bother me. Move them over. Infantry! Loose formation! Infantry! Stop! Horsemen! Charge! Soldiers! Move! Try and help out a little bit. Look at the blocking. I haven't hit once. Oh, there was a hit. Oh, that's only because I crushed through. God. Oh, it's insane. It's like, yeah, you attack five, six times, you don't hit once, and then you got four guys jumping all over you. Man, that's crazy. That's why I'm a little bit worried about my infantry captain live stream. 
little bit. Ow, we are, we're losing a ton. We're losing a lot of troops. I've already lost now, what, 350 between the, the siege or the two big battles? I can't remember if I have RTS on. Okay, there, I have it off. Make sure I got it off. Oh, not another. Oh, I hate this. Oh, God. I hate these battles. Now I got to sim it. I only lost six. I hate simming. Absolutely hate it. Unless I got tactics. If I got tactics, oh, that's different. And now I got too many prisoners. Even if I take these four, I got too many. Because I actually can only carry about 180 prisoners. Because I got to get rid of these. So now I got to start making a decision. Let's first get rid of all the equites. All right, let's do, we got to start taking just the troops we need. And I don't need to take these as well. All right, that's, that should be good. I'd like to take more, but we're going to see. Mm, yeah, we'll go with this. Another barding. Another piece of Lord's gear. Get a lot of bardings. Okay, once again. Who has prisoners? And she needs troops. She's really killing me with these troops. Just doesn't have the medicine. But they're going to come after this feat. And we're just going to keep taking them out like we are right now. I will attempt to take the town. And if I can't take the town, then I'll come back and I'll take these guys out. And that is going to slowly dwindle them down to nothing. All right, I got all of them. So I got all the prisoners. Uh, they got one. In which I don't have access to him. So once again, now I could pull him in my army. Is Ceratus... I don't know if he is. Uh, I guess that's him. No. Where's Ceratus? S-E-R, wasn't it? Who is that? S-A-R. He doesn't have negative mercy. I could pull him in my army. But by pulling him in my army, which means he can't make, go into another army. That's the only downfall of doing it. But what I could do is I could go ahead and kick him for somebody else. Um, You know what? I'm not going to pull him in my army right now, even though I bet he would be cheap. He's actually not cheap. He is very expensive. I'm trying to let these guys stay here. They're in an army. I want them to form another army and start attacking. So let's go back up here. And we'll watch it again. If they come to siege the castle, we're going to stop. We're going to go take them out. Because now we are taking them prisoner. We already have 17 prisoners. You normally only have around 50 lords prisoner. One more battle is going to essentially... Put them at half strength. All right. So before we go, uh, I have nobody to recruit, which sucks, which I believe is because I have the wrong perk. 
there's one perk for tier tier one, two, and three, and there uh, the other perk is for tier four plus. And I think I have the lower perk. So I should be taking lower tier troops, which I am not. And then the other thing do I want I was looking at do I want to go ahead and upgrade some of these guys? Okay, I'm wondering if you guys hear those clicks. And I'm thinking that you're going to hear those clicks. And it was like I ordered a mouse and I have I hope I was hoping the mouse would be good and I think it is way too loud. And that's why the microphone's picking it up. And it ain't close to it either. And I can filter out the mouse, but that's only a normal not mouse noise when I'm talking. You're still going to hear it. All right, so we'll do that. Um, and we're going half and half is really what we're doing. All right, so I got all those up there. All right, here we go again, and we're going to watch. We're going to do the exact same thing we just did. And if they attack the castle, we're going to go right back to the castle. We are not going to stop doing that route. And then sooner or later, they're just not going to have enough troops. So I don't really care. The minute I see them attacking that castle, we stop and go for them. And it won't take long for us to eliminate them. Now, if we got most of our siege equipment up, well, then obviously we're we're just going to stay here. Because I'd rather take out the town. This is going to be a long battle. They got 700 troops. And I was, like I said, I was through this before with people. Um, that four days, that's just to run out of food. That's not actually to starve. We might be starving them out a little bit in this. But that, trust me, that takes forever to do. That could take seven to ten days from this point to starve them out. That, there they go again. We go right back. They're hanging just far enough back where they're out of range. My guys are up on a hill. But 170 meters is not good. I see those guys over there, but I'm not worried about them. We got to get up on this ledge here. See, now we don't have line of sight. Except for the guys that get up over here. So I'm going to have to get really close if I want to do this. Which I'm probably going to end up doing. Can't get him in the right spot. Where I want him. It's not really, it's quite far off from where I want them. Ooh, that's a lot of cab over there. That is a lot of cab. I don't think some of these guys have a line of sight. Uh, still, there they go. See, yeah, they don't have, they didn't have line of sight. As soon as they take a few more losses, they'll come in. My little sister. You got hers. Okay. Infantry, loose formation. Horsemen. Attack. If they kill them all, push or charge. Yeah. 
gosh. Boy, I'm not hitting them good at all. It's just the blocking. Blocking is ridiculous. I didn't hit him once. He blocked me twice. Oh, they got him. And then when you get into the mix like this, the AI is so focused on you that they're going to try to hit you. That's how a battle is supposed to go. I missed him. Can't get him. Block. Block. <sighs> it would make sense if I'm blocking him from the left, somebody should be attacking from the right. And that's just natural. But the AI doesn't do that. A lot of what they do is they attack from one direction. So somebody just has to block from one direction. And you got them. All right. More troops. What I need. But they should have prisoners. They're going to get down here pretty quick where they're not going to be able to do anything. How many troops are in here? They have 92. They're getting up there. Soon it's, you know, they're really not going to have an army to do any of this. And then I'm just going to steamroll the entire kingdom. That's kind of how I work. All right, there we go. And now we're up to 20 prisoners. So we got near half their, their entire kingdom prisoner. Or, oh, there's one. I can't catch her. Some, yeah, I can't catch her. She got away. I'd like to follow her, but I'm not going to do it because I want to go over here and I want to take the town. Oh, hello. Oof, that would have been bad. I almost lost troops. Uh, let's give some to him. I almost lost troops. Mm -mm. Nine more. Five more. Go. All right, back we go. Somebody, she got one fifty which is all party leaders. All right, she's got a point. I believe I was going to go into one-handed in preparation for her developing other skills. I think that's what I was doing with her. Oh, hello. All right, you leveled. You definitely need to have medicine. That's where she's getting absolutely crushed. Not having doctors else and building up medicine. Yeah, darling, you need medicine. And now we do it again. Get your 75 out of the way. And we're going to go with co food consumption. I, d I just, I'm not a big fan of the, that food consumption. Oh, let's see. Gotta go steward. Almost hard capped on steward. And right back to where we were before. Now they got four days of food. Which means we might be able to starve them out. Because they're going to build fast still. They still got a ton of troops. So let's see what it goes down to. Because normally when it gets to one day, it sits at one day for like two or three days. It's really bad. But we're going to see. So today should be day two. It should go down to before nighttime. 
two days, right before nighttime. That's a lot in the garrison, too. There's 376 in the garrison. That's half their troops. So now, once again, before nighttime, it should go down to one day. Basically taking me almost an entire day to build one siege engine. You can see we're nighttime and it's still two days. That's what I told you about. It's still two days. We've gone a day and a half now. And that's where starving out sounds like a good idea, but it's not. It takes you forever. Um, if you're doing anything speed-wise, you can't do it. It's Now it's one day. It took a day and a half to lose one day of food. And it'll probably be the same way with this. Uh, food change minus 163. Settlement until Dave runs out of food. It should run out of food right now. Which, these are going to end up potentially breaking the walls. Which I don't want to do. I don't want to break the walls. So, as much as you would think that, hey, there's only one day of food left, starve them out. In a world conquest, do you want to spend the next three or four days sitting here trying to starve them out? It's going to be a rough battle, but no, I don't want to do it. All right, this is something I don't remember seeing before, but look at that. I, I don't remember seeing this. This must be a new view. Take them all out. Not if they move. Like that. I can't do anything if they keep moving. He's hidden. I can't see him. Wow, that was amazing. That was some incredible targeting. It was like he was focused on me the whole time, or the AI was able to change their target instantly. Because I was hidden the whole time. And I just stepped out and he hit me. That was like instantaneous. Wow, this is really weird. Damn it. Taking them off the walls. Come on, we need more. Sister. Crossbowman. Bye. Oh, there we go. They need help. Missed them. Damn it. I'm not hitting them. See, when you hit them, 
then the guy that's actually using the little fork type thing, he can't use it. So that's why I do that. Trying to hit their feet. They're going after my guys. Nice of him to move. Don't move on me. They're definitely going after my guys. Gosh, he hit him. He's moving on me. Yeah, uh, like who got me? No, you don't. You aren't getting me this time. Look at that one guy just walking around. La 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 la. I'm going for a stroll. He hit right at the perfect time. Nope, missed me. Nope. See ya. Goodbye. Thanks for playing. I didn't headshot him. Goodbye. Now, where's all my troops? Look how ridiculous this is. I got 194 troops on the battlefield. They got 566. Nothing I can do. The reinforce, that's the reinforcement system for you. I'm almost out of arrows, too. There, now I got arrows. Only 36, but I got arrows. We'll win just but though because of the reinforcement system, it's going to take us forever. And look at these sieges, how terrible they are. Look at my troops all the way back there. I almost have to bring in three quivers of arrows every time I do this. I'm going to run out of arrows. And of course, no equipment on the ground. We got dead guys, but I got no arrows, nothing to grab. They just disappeared, just like that right there. And there, there's no quivers to grab. How am I supposed to get arrows? There's arrows on the ground here. You know, I can pick these up, but I got to stand out in the open. And I don't want an additional battle, perhaps. Because I'm going to go under 20% light. I don't want to have to sim again. But yeah, this is going to be a long battle. So I know I've been RTSing a lot. But as I've told people, we're going to get long battles. You guys don't need to worry about that. We're going to get some long ones in here. He almost got me. He almost got me. Trying to take these guys out or going for my guys. You got that guy right there. Oh, 
Oh, my guys have already broke through. They're coming over here to siege now. But I'm still low. Very low on troops. Um, they, they still outnumber me. Even though I have a 2 to 1 advantage. It would be nice if I could find a quiver. However, I see no quivers. There's nothing on the ground. There's a boulder. No quiver. And they said they were going to add ammo barrels for the defenders. I don't see any ammo barrels. I have the alt, I have the alt key down. Looking for stuff on the ground. And there's nothing. I have nothing to grab. Okay. There's nothing there. It would be green. I might be able to walk up to there. And see if there would be any... I'm looking for a quiver over arrows. There are arrows on the ground that I can pick up. Alright, they broke through again. Let's get rid of these guys. So they're done. My guys are going to take that wall. That is no problem. Now let's get back over here where I'm assuming there is no one. There are my reinforcements. Look at that. No arrows. Can't even take them out of the deck, guys. Nope. All keys down. Oh, there we go. Finally. There. We, now I got arrows. But now we, we're potentially done. They're already up there. How many kills? 57 kills. Yeah, that was a big battle. I got 66 of them. And we'll send in the, oh, of course, awesome legionary do the work it is a town so I can take prisoners I can sell them for money legendary imperial light mace there we got another one and this one's pretty much done. Although, uh, I think I want to finish the fortification. Uh, that, that's a little, that's only three days. Uh, which, although, I mean, a workshop, the siege workshop. Eh, no, I'll be fine with that. Uh, food situation. They're probably going to have very little food. Well, first, let's get rid of the prisoners. We need to get rid of all these bad boys. And what I need to think about doing... 300. Whew, I took a lot of troops. Oh, boy. Um, I get really trained. I can only take 97 troops. I have to get rid of virtually everybody.
heavy horse are gonna go. I get rid of the archers. All right, that's it. That's my troops right there. And I have to get rid of 70 of them. So sadly, a lot of the veterans are going to go. I'm going to leave one in there, or a couple, just so I have them in the list. And man, I did not want to get rid of the cons guard. There's one thing I really didn't want to get rid of. But I feel like I need to. Alright, so there's 97. 32. I'll lose. You'll lose one. Um, I don't know why. Okay, they have 89 defenders. I'm not going to touch them. I don't want to do that. Was there anything else that I needed to do? I don't really think there's anything else I had to do. That. Okay, that's my little brother. Uh, we need to... You know what? If I die, I die. I think I need to start having him worry about other stuff. I don't, I don't really want to, but... If it happens, it happens. Normally, I set him up to take over for me. But, yeah, if he's going to go, he's going to go. We're back to one-handed. Have her max that out. All right, we're done there. I don't think we need to hang around here. I mean, I could sell. Get this out of the way again, since I don't do it enough. Look at these horses. Oh, I can't even do it. I can't get rid of any of them. That's enough money. All right, let's step out of town. Okay, they have 89 defenders. And they have 72. Oh, now they have 124 now. The militia's going. Once they have that, it takes an army. Now, where is our next target? This is what we got left. Uh, what did they do? Uh, they still got Legata. This is what they have left. Is this right here? Alrighty, guys. Um, let me exactly see what when we are. And then I can show you. So we are on day 737. So we still have 450 days to go. And, you know, once we take care of them and do this quick push, then we just got Blandia and Asari to go. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care and thanks for watching.